how to use the FAA Aeronautical Chart User's Guide. So this uh, user's guide that the FAA has recently published is a great resource for you as you are learning how to read VFR sectionals. So it's got all the different information in here, about all the different symbols, all the different things, all the different you know uh, colors, all that kind of stuff is indicated here. So uh, I do have a link for you, um, but what I have found is the best thing to do with uh, the FAA changes links frequently, right? So if you just Google um, FAA Aeronautical Chart User's Guide, it comes right up in Google and you'll be able to get to this page. So one thing you always want to do when you're using publications from the FAA is you want to make sure that you're using the most uh, current publication. So right here it says the effective date is 21 May 2020. So if you find another document that's um, from March or you know a previous month, you'll know it's not the most current publication. So you always want to double check your uh, currency date on all of your FAA publications. So right here, what you can do is you can download um, a couple different um, user guide. User guide. So there's uh, visual chart, visual charting products only, IFR and route products only, and then terminal procedure publications only. So uh, and then there's the complete edition. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the visual charting products only because we are learning how to read VFR sectionals. So this is going to include sectional charts, terminal area charts, uh, the Caribbean flyway, and the helicopter charts. So what we're learning in this course is we're learning how to read VFR sectional charts. We're going to go over terminal area charts. Um, then we're also going to go over chart supplements as well. So I'm not going to go through this whole document, but I want you to know that this is a resource for you. I highly suggest you download it. If you're a person that likes to print things, go ahead and print it. Um, but this is going to have all of the different symbols, anything that has changed, any new, um, any new symbols that they're using on the VFR charts, um, and you know all sorts of really great information for you. So if I scroll down here into the document, it's got the explanations of VFR terms and symbols. So um, it's got explanation of water features, land terrain, so it has an explanation of what each of these means, all that kind of stuff. The colors in the background of the, um, of the document to help you determine the elevation of the terrain. It's got examples of the different symbols. We've already seen this one right here, the obstacles 1,000 feet AGL or greater. We saw that when we were talking about um, the different classes of airspace. And um, in, in, they've given you examples of a chart here where you're going to find things. Um, this is just your resource when you have questions on how to read the charts. This is the place to go. Okay, so um, I highly suggest you download it, read it over, post any questions that you have in the Facebook group, and I'll see you guys later.